I'm sure my regulars noticed that we only got one video up yesterday instead of the usual two, but there's a reason for that. I was going to talk about what happened to Sonny Weems yesterday afternoon, but I wanted to give this an extra day. I wanted to wait. I wanted to see if there was going to be any type of response from LeBron James or anyone associated with the NBA. I wanted to see if the mainstream media, ESPN, was going to pick up on this story. I wanted to be fair. I wanted to give them the benefit of the doubt. Now, at the time of this recording, uh, it's about, I don't know, 11.15 Friday morning. This story has been in the news cycle for 72 hours. Plenty of time for it to be addressed. Now, let's get into a little bit of the background. Sonny Weems, he was drafted by the Bulls in the second round back in 2008. He bounced around the NBA for a few years, played professionally over in Europe, but the last few years, he has been playing in the CBA over in China. Now, during a game last week, Sonny Weems was involved in an altercation with an opposing player. Fight broke out. Both Sonny Weems and the other player were ejected from the game. Should have been end of story. Fights happen between players at sporting events all the time. Hell, they happen between fans too. But the story does not end there. Actually, it was only the beginning. After the game, the team bus arrived somewhere. I would assume the team hotel. There was a crowd of fans outside waiting for the players to get off the bus. I really want to show you what happened in its entirety, but I'm going to edit down this clip here. I mean, it, it, it's bad. This is really bad. I don't even know if YouTube would allow this to go through if I played the full version unedited. CNN, they do have a censored version of the video or the incident, but I've never liked beeping out words. I think it's annoying. It, it takes away from the impact of what's going on. I mean, we're all adults here. I say all the time, the truth is ugly, and this is a great example of that. The language is bad enough, but it's the maliciousness in these people's voices that really caught my attention. You can hear the hatred, the vitriol that these people have towards Sonny Weems, someone that I highly doubt they know on a personal level. So here we go. I'm going to play a very small edited portion of what happened so you can understand, kind of get a grasp of what I'm talking about. You can find the full clip online if you're interested, but here we go. It's not often that I feel bad for a grown man, but I really feel bad here for Sonny Weems. He doesn't deserve to be treated like this, being racially abused over a damn basketball game. I don't know how he maintained his composure. Credit to him for keeping his cool and not knocking those people the fuck out. You can see in the video, he just kind of he just kind of laughs it off, goes on about his business. Now, I don't know anything about Sonny Weems. He could be the nicest guy in the world. He could be a confused social justice warrior. I don't know. But what I do know is that he doesn't deserve to be treated like he's less than human because he got into a fight at a basketball game. The CBA released a statement denouncing the behavior of their fans. Now, I'm not going to read it here. It's the typical statement that you would expect. Jeremy Lin, who is also playing in the CBA right now, Jeremy Lin has been vocal in his support of Sonny Weems and what happened to him. There has been a little bit of mainstream media coverage on this story, and when I say a little bit, I mean barely any coverage at all. Fox News has an article about it on their website. CNN, they covered it briefly. A couple of other smaller outlets picked up on the story. But where is ESPN? Where is Stephen A. Smith? Where's Jalen Rose? Where's Jamel Hill? Where's LeBron James? Where's the NBA? Where the hell is BLM? Can you imagine if this same thing had happened here in America? My God. This story would run 24 hours a day for several weeks. New sensitivity seminars would pop up, training us all on the importance of ending racism. Sonny Weems, whether he wanted to be or not, would become the biggest star in America. The media would victimize him. Documentaries would be produced. Specials would be aired on ESPN. Kirk Herbstreet would be crying on the air again. We all know what the reaction would be if a group of white NBA fans did the same exact thing here in America. And look, I'm not saying the reaction would not be justified. It would be absolutely embarrassing if this happened here at home, but it doesn't. They want you to believe it does. They want you to believe the mentality, the hatred Sonny Weems experienced in China. They want you to believe it's the same way here in America, but it's not. 
So why is this story being completely ignored? If a white cop even so much as looks at a black man the wrong way, LeBron James is forming a crusade against police. Black Lives Matter would be rioting in the streets if what happened to Sonny Weems happened here in America. Buildings would be burned. Murals would be painted. Anytime something happens between a criminal and the cops that could be twisted into racism, we hear about it for weeks on end. Sonny Weems is not a criminal. From everything I've read about him, seems like a nice guy, upstanding citizen. So where is the outrage? You don't even have to fake the outrage in this situation. The outrage should be real. It's justified. This is a prime example of everything these people have been claiming for years now. You want to talk about ending racism? Let's talk about it. Here's a case of blatant racism. Let's talk about how this can't happen to Sonny Weems again. Those conversations aren't happening. Why? Why? A couple of reasons. Number one, this doesn't fit the narrative. We all know the narrative by now. Evil white men hate black people. This was not a group of white men abusing Sonny Weems. It was a group of Chinese men. And therein lies the problem for the woke left. Therein lies the problem for LeBron James, the NBA, ESPN, NBC. Criticizing China is off limits. We can't criticize China. They'll pull our games off the air. They'll remove our merch from the stores. I won't be able to sell shoes over there. There's too much money involved. Sonny Weems will have to handle this on his own. Like I told you in the beginning, I wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt. And look, if LeBron James has addressed what happened and I just happened to miss it, that's my fault. I checked his social media accounts. I Googled Sonny Weems, LeBron James. I couldn't find anything. Maybe LeBron doesn't know about this yet. Maybe the NBA doesn't know. Now, I'm not going to say the same thing for ESPN. ESPN knows about this story. If it came across my newswire, my news feed, it came across theirs. They were notified. ESPN has positioned themselves as one of the leaders in the fight against racism. They also claim to be a sports network, which is debatable. But here we have a professional basketball player enduring actual racism. And ESPN, they can't even bother to mention it. They can't bring it up. Sonny Weems is a former NBA player. It's not hard to figure out why NBC's ignoring the story. The Olympics start here in a couple of weeks. NBC's coming off one of the least watched Olympics of all time last summer. The Winter Olympics, they're taking place in Beijing. NBC cannot afford any negative press right now. Now, maybe this story ends up being picked up by the mainstream media, but I, I doubt it. They're going to ignore it, just like they continue to ignore Leah Thomas. The fight against racism is only a fight when the situation fits the narrative. Sonny Weems enduring racism in China? That doesn't help further the agenda. That doesn't keep white and black people divided in America. It would do the opposite. It would give white and black people an opportunity to unite against what happened. And we can't have that. We must keep people divided. We must keep white and black people hating each other. The hypocrisy in the media has become so blatant. Even Dan Levitard is calling it out. Dan Levitard is a professional social justice warrior. I can't think of a time that I have agreed with anything that he has said socially or politically until now. Yesterday, he called out sports networks and the mainstream media for covering up the human rights violations in China and celebrating the Olympics. He referenced the Shamath Palapatiya story and how it's being ignored by the mainstream media. They refuse to expose China. Hell, they won't even print anything negative about them. Now, I'm going to continue monitoring this Sonny Weems story over the weekend. If LeBron James or anyone associated with the NBA or ESPN says something about it, I'll let you guys know. I will. But... I doubt it happens. It's not going to happen. This is the reason they have no credibility. If you are truly fighting to end racism, you can't just pick and choose what racism that you're ending. You're either fighting to end it all or you're full of shit. You're either all in or you're out. Step up or step aside. All right, let me know what you guys think of the lack of response to Sonny Weems. Sound off in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell to receive all notifications from the channel. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. I'll see you guys later.